You might think decluttering is just about tidying up your space, but it's much more than that. Indeed, decluttering is a comprehensive process that involves both our physical surroundings and our mental landscape. It's about creating an environment that supports clarity, peace and productivity. When we declutter, we're not just tidying up, we're actively creating a space that reflects our intentions and values. Imagine living in a space that's free from unnecessary items, where every object has a purpose and a place. Now, imagine carrying that same sense of order and purpose into your mental space. Free from the clutter of unhelpful thoughts and distractions, your mind becomes a sanctuary of calm and focus. Decluttering can be a powerful tool for reducing anxiety, cultivating mental peace, and creating a more harmonious living space. So set clear intentions for your decluttering journey. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve? When you clear your space, you clear your mind. So are you ready to declutter? Start small, start with something manageable. This mantra is the key to beginning your physical decluttering journey. It's not about overhauling your entire house in one go. Instead, pick a specific area, a desk, a closet, or even just a single drawer. A manageable starting point is crucial for building momentum without being overwhelmed. Now that you've chosen your starting point, it's time to sort your items. You might be familiar with the Marie Kondo method. This involves holding each item and asking yourself, does this spark joy? If it does, it stays. If it doesn't, it's time to say thank you and goodbye. As you go through your items, sort them into three categories, keep, donate or sell, and throw away. Remember decluttering isn't about getting rid of everything, it's about curating your environment to only include items that bring you joy or serve a purpose. It's about creating space for peace and clarity. Once you've decided what to keep, it's time to organize. This step is just as important as sorting. Organizing your items systematically can make your space more functional and aesthetically pleasing. Consider using storage solutions like boxes, shelves or dividers. These can help you keep everything in its place and make it easier to maintain a tidy space in the future. Physical decluttering can be a liberating process. It's not just about having a cleaner space. It's about taking control, making conscious decisions about what you want in your life and what you don't. It's about letting go of the old to make room for the new. And remember, it's okay if you don't get it right the first time. This is a learning process. Each time you declutter, you'll get better at recognizing what truly brings you joy and contributes to your well-being. And just like that, you've taken the first step towards a decluttered life. Our digital spaces can be just as cluttered, if not more, than our physical ones. Imagine opening your computer to a clean, orderly desktop with neatly arranged folders and no excess files. How serene and stress-free would that be? That's the power of digital decluttering. Start by organizing your digital files. This means going through all your documents, pictures, downloads and anything else lurking in the depths of your device. Delete what's unnecessary and categorize the rest into clearly labeled folders. The goal here is to know exactly where to find what you're looking for, eliminating the stress and time wasted on frantic searching. Next, it's time to tackle your emails. If you're drowning in a sea of unread messages, it's time to hit the unsubscribe button. Wave goodbye to those newsletters you never read, the updates from a store you shopped at once, and the random subscriptions you don't remember signing up for. Streamlining your inbox can be a game changer for your mental clarity. And what about social media? It's time to unfollow accounts that don't add value or positivity to your life. If seeing someone's posts makes you feel inadequate, unhappy, or just plain annoyed, click unfollow. Your digital environment should uplift you, not drag you down. Lastly, consider implementing periods of digital detox. This means disconnecting from electronic devices to fully experience the present moment. You'd be amazed at how liberating it feels to unplug, even if just for a few hours each day. Remember, the aim of digital decluttering is not to achieve some unattainable ideal of a zero inbox or a perfect social media feed. It's about creating an online environment that supports your mental well-being, rather than detracting from it. So, take a deep breath, roll up your sleeves, and dive into your digital declutter. You might be surprised at how much lighter you feel when you clear out your digital clutter. Don't forget, just like physical decluttering, this is a process. Be patient with yourself and celebrate each step forward no matter how small. 
A decluttered digital space means less distraction and more peace. Now it's time to declutter the most important space of all, your mind. Mental clutter can create a fog that clouds our thoughts, decisions and emotions. But fear not, there are practical ways to help clear up this mental fog. Let's start with mindfulness practices. Mindfulness is all about being present in the moment, consciously aware of your thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's like taking a step back and observing your mind without getting caught up in the whirlwind of thoughts. Try setting aside a few minutes each day for mindfulness meditation. Simply sit quietly, focus on your breath and allow your thoughts to come and go without judgment. This practice can help clear your mind, reducing the mental clutter that can cause stress and anxiety. Next, consider journaling as a tool to declutter your mind. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be incredibly therapeutic. It's like having a conversation with yourself, expressing your worries, fears, hopes and dreams. This process of externalizing your thoughts onto paper can help you to process your emotions, providing clarity and reducing mental clutter. So grab a pen and a notebook and let your thoughts flow freely onto the page. Lastly, it's essential to set your priorities. In an age where we're often expected to multitask and juggle many responsibilities at once, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. To cut through the noise, identify what truly matters to you. What are your top priorities in life? Once you've identified these, aim to eliminate or reduce activities that don't align with your priorities. This can help to declutter your mind, freeing up mental space and energy for what truly matters. Remember, decluttering your mind is not about achieving a state of perfect emptiness. It's about creating a mental environment that feels peaceful and clear, allowing you to focus on what truly matters. With a decluttered mind, you'll find it easier to focus, make decisions and simply enjoy life. Decluttering is not a one-time task, it's a lifestyle. Let's dive into how we can adopt a decluttered lifestyle, which, believe it or not, is simpler than it sounds. First, make decluttering a habit. Just as we dedicate time for meals, workouts and work, let's set aside a few moments each week for decluttering. It could be as short as 10 minutes every Sunday to sort through accumulated items, or maybe a quick sweep through your digital space every evening. Remember, consistency is key. This routine not only keeps your physical space clean, but also helps in maintaining your mental clarity. Next, let's embrace minimalism. Now this doesn't mean living with the bare minimum, rather it's about keeping things that are truly necessary or bring you genuine joy. It's about choosing quality over quantity and learning to appreciate what we have. This minimalist approach extends beyond our physical and digital spaces and into our mental space. It's about focusing on the things that truly matter to us and letting go of the unnecessary noise. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, regular reflection is vital. Periodically take a step back and reflect on your decluttering journey. Notice the changes in your physical spaces and within yourself. Does the decluttered desk make you feel more productive? Does the organized closet bring you peace? Has the digital detox helped you live more in the moment? Use these reflections as motivation to continue your decluttering journey. And remember, the journey of decluttering is unique to each person. What works for one might not work for another. The goal is not to achieve a picture-perfect minimalist home or a zero inbox email, but to create a space, both physical and mental, that brings you peace, clarity and joy. A decluttered lifestyle leads to a decluttered mind, and that's a lifestyle worth living. And with that, let's move on to the next part of our decluttering journey, overcoming the challenges that come along the way. Decluttering can be challenging, but you're not alone. As we dive into the journey of decluttering, we may encounter some roadblocks. One of the most significant challenges we face is our emotional attachment to items. These attachments can make it hard to let go, even when we know an object no longer serves us. It's essential to understand that it's perfectly normal to form emotional attachments. Perhaps an item reminds you of a cherished memory, a loved one, or a specific period in your life. It's okay. Take a moment to acknowledge these feelings, hold space for them, and then gently remind yourself of your decluttering intentions. Remember, decluttering isn't about erasing memories or discarding parts of your past. Rather, it's about making space for the new and the meaningful. It's about creating an environment that supports your present and future well-being. So, when you feel ready, let go of the item, knowing that you're not letting go of the memory or the love associated with it. 
Now, decluttering can sometimes feel overwhelming, especially when you're dealing with a large space or years worth of accumulated items. In such moments, remember that it's okay to ask for help. This could be a friend, a family member, or even a professional organizer. A helping hand can make the process more manageable and less daunting. They can provide an objective perspective, which can be incredibly helpful when you're struggling to decide what to keep and what to let go of. Lastly, when the task seems too big, remember the saying, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Start with one drawer, one shelf, or one corner of a room. As you progress, you'll gain momentum, and before you know it, you've accomplished more than you initially thought possible. Remember, every step you take towards decluttering, no matter how small, is a step towards peace and clarity. So keep going, keep decluttering, and keep creating the peaceful and harmonious environment that you deserve. You've done it. You've taken steps towards a decluttered life. Hats off to you. You've delved into the art of decluttering, a journey that's as much about discarding the unnecessary as it is about discovering the essential. You've sorted, organized, and cleansed both your physical surroundings and your digital realms. You've also learned to quiet your mind, to focus on your breath and your truest priorities. And look at the progress you've made. Each item donated, each file deleted, each moment of mindful silence, they all add up to a cleaner, clearer, calmer you. It's more than just tidying up. It's about creating space for joy, serenity, and the things that truly matter. So take a moment to celebrate this transformation. Yet, remember, decluttering is not a one-off event, but an ongoing journey. The key to preserving this newfound tranquility and order is consistency. Make it a part of your routine, a habit as natural as brushing your teeth. Set aside a little time each week for maintaining your space, both physical and mental. And as you continue on this path, remember to keep a minimalist approach at heart. Hold on to things that are necessary or spark joy, and let go of the rest. Reflect regularly on your decluttering journey. Notice how a decluttered space impacts your mental peace and overall well-being. There may be challenges along the way. It's okay. It's a part of the process. You might find it hard to let go of certain items, or you may feel overwhelmed at times. In those moments, remember to be patient and kind to yourself. Seek support if needed. Finally, remember, the goal of decluttering is not perfection, but creating a more peaceful and harmonious environment. It's about crafting a space that reflects and supports your mental well-being. With a decluttered space and mind, you'll find tranquility and order in your life. Keep up with your practices and enjoy the peace that comes with decluttering.